a transesophageal echocardiogram, or T, is an alternative way to perform an echocardiogram. A specialized probe containing an ultrasound transducer at its tip is passed into the patient's esophagus. This allows image and Doppler evaluation which can be recorded. It has several advantages and some disadvantages compared to a transthoracic echocardiogram. Indications Speciality medicine professional organizations recommend against using transesophageal echocardiography to detect cardiac sources of embolization after a patient's healthcare provider has identified a source of embolization and if that person would not change a patient's management as a result of getting more information. Such organizations further recommend that doctors and patients should avoid seeking transesophageal echocardiography only for the sake of protocol-driven testing and to agree to the test only if it is right for the individual patient. Advantages The advantage of T over TTE is usually clearer images, especially of structures that are difficult to view transthoracically. The explanation for this is that the heart rests directly upon the esophagus leaving only millimeters that the ultrasound beam has to travel. This reduces the attenuation of the ultrasound signal, generating a stronger return signal, ultimately enhancing image and Doppler quality. Comparatively, transthoracic ultrasound must first traverse skin, fat, ribs and lungs before reflecting off the heart and back to the probe before an image can be created. All these structures, along with the increased distance the beam must travel, weaken the ultrasound signal thus degrading the image and Doppler quality. In adults, Several structures can be evaluated and imaged better with the T, including the aorta, pulmonary artery, valves of the heart, both atria, atrial septum, left atrial appendage, and coronary arteries. T has a very high sensitivity for locating a blood clot inside the left atrium. Disadvantages T requires a fasting patient. The patient must follow the ASANPO guidelines, requires a team of medical personnel, takes longer to perform than TTE, may be uncomfortable for the patient, may require sedation or general anesthesia, there are some risks associated with the procedure. Process, before inserting the probe, mild to moderate sedation is induced in the patient to ease the discomfort and to decrease the gag reflex, thus making the ultrasound probe easier to pass into the esophagus. Mild or moderate sedation can be induced with medications such as midazolam, fentanyl, or propofol. Usually a local anesthetic spray is used for the back of the throat, such as xylocaine and or a jelly lubricant anesthetic for the esophagus. Children are anesthetized. Adults are sometimes anesthetized as well. Unlike the TTE, the T is considered an invasive procedure and is thus performed by physicians in the U.S., not sonographers. Clinical uses in addition to use by cardiologists in outpatient and inpatient settings, T can be performed by a cardiac anesthesiologist or CRNA to evaluate, diagnose, and treat patients in the perioperative period. Most commonly used during open heart procedures, if the patient's status warrants it, T can be used in the setting of any operation. T is very useful during many cardiac surgical procedures. It is actually an essential monitoring tool during this procedure. It helps to detect and quantify the disease preoperatively as well as to assess the results of surgery immediately after the procedure. If the repair is found to be inadequate, showing significant residual regurgitation, the surgeon can decide whether to go back to CPB to try to correct the defect. Aortic dissections are another important condition where T is very helpful. T can also help the surgeon during the insertion of a catheter for retrograde cardioplegia. References External links, Virtual T, Online Interactive Learning Resource, T Online Simulator, Interactive.